What is up, my dudes? I'm back again. Um, so I recorded an entire video where I went through all of the new stuff in creative mode and then lost half the audio because there's a really unfortunately placed mute button on my headset. Um, great, but that one's gone in the trash. So I was thinking about other things uh, that I could be doing. Um, and uh, there was this little trick I used to do back in the day. It's not even that interesting, but I liked it. And that is... That's the wrong button. <laughs> Mushroom tents. So, I think Minecraft was always pretty great when it had, uh, when when you were focusing on survival and exploration and stuff. Like everybody builds their their base and they'll run back to it whenever they need to. But um, you know, you need you need like a, a base on the move. And yeah, of course you can just dig a hole in the ground, stick a torch and a bed in it and call it a day. And then you're safe from monsters from that five seconds you need to, uh, you know, not die to a creeper. But um, it's something that's a slightly more semi-permanent is the these mushroom tents. Um, and they're really simple. Like all it is is uh, this. I mean, you could have like a chest and a furnace in here as well. Obviously, I should probably add torches, but uh, oh, this one grew through a tree. I didn't even notice that. But uh, at the end of the day, it's just like a little little tent, you know, a uh, little forward operating base. There we go. I'm going to turn my hood back on so I can actually see what I'm doing now. Um, oh, that's the wrong button. <laughs> that is the wrong button. I forgot what the button is. There we go. I'm sure I pressed that like five times in all that mens not nonsense, but yeah. Um, these are the materials, really. Uh, and to be honest, you don't even need to be carrying the trapdoor, the ladders, the, the, the crafting table, or anything else like that. You could just carry some logs. And the voila is your thing. You can condense this way down. I'm, I'm in creative at the moment. But all you need really is to make sure you've got a mushroom, some bone meal, uh, a bed, and then some logs and you're set. Um, the only downside really to the whole thing is how difficult it is to place a mushroom. So they need to be placed in darkness, so no, of course, it's daylight. Um, but even if it was night time, it has to be placed under, like, out of direct sunlight. And finding those places are really tricky. Which is the, the one big shame. So like I've managed to place it here. But then it's lower than I wanted it to be. So now I have to dig a channel to do the rest of the build. So there are pros and cons to this whole idea. Um, and I wish it was more of a thing that was possible. In all honesty. Like I love the idea of being able to just run around forever. But still have like um, a noticeable base somewhere. But unfortunately it's just not possible. So if I just wipe that there, open it up, inside we go. So we've got this central pillar, obviously. This could stay here, in all honesty. But uh, it's easier just to break it down. And I think you can probably get mushrooms from that, if you're lucky. I might be wrong, but um, yeah. That could have stayed there, really. Had an interesting ceiling. Oh no, I broke it. But for the purpose of this, it's fine, I'm sure. Um, and then, yeah, you just place your bed. You place your crafting bench. Torch up. Boop. And you're away, and you, with a couple of chests, like because you can stack chests and stuff, you've really got like a home away from home. Like while you're on a like a long-term mining expedition, maybe you've got in search of like emeralds from miles away. Um, maybe you've built your home base in a mountain, but you need like a little base down by the ocean. Mushroom tents. I think it's great. That's all I've got to say. Use mushroom tents. Later, guys.